want to thank everybody here at Davidson and all the people that I will get to meet this weekend, uh, or this midweek weekend. Uh, different generations coming together, um, and so certainly Leah and the gallery for all that they've done. Um, it's very nice, and especially um, picking some of my Santa types that have been kind of like my stepchild uh, uh, series, I guess, through the years. and. Um, so um, it's kind of nice that um, Lee was able to kind of think of themes that run through these. And I think the idea of materiality is something that you see from the rocks to the even light uh, in my Lou's work. Um, photo photography is, is usually um, considered not very material and pretty flat, um, but I think um, how I've um, utilized um, part craft and part digital things really speaks to me as an older person now. Uh, when I came to Davidson, there was really no digital things, and so when I kind of become grown up, there are digital things. So being in a position stat straddling both that analog world and that digital world really informs how I think about things. And so um, I've always been interested in what happens to things we discard as well. And so this series is taking uh, as art history collections and media collections were um, thrown away and changed for digital things, and just how obsolescence works, how all our phones, what happens when we hand in our phones, you know? What happens when we hand in our recycling? Does it even go to the recycling thing? Maybe it just goes to somebody and they just chuck it back behind somebody's fence, you know? Who knows exactly? And so I would um, take these and say, hey, how do I talk about obsolescence? How do I talk about media? How do I talk about um, the world that we live in that still has touch, feel, materiality, but yet has a world of um, seamless, democratic kind of screen that kind of takes the life out of the world sometimes. And so in this series, I am um, using cyanotypes, a scientific 19th century technique that we utilized um, in some ways first by scientists that were recording the world and the scientific things that they would see as they go around the world. Um, flora, what does it look like, this thing from Australia, and so it's uh, science. And so uh, I'm taking um, some scientific kind of um, organization to, these kind of start off with um, uh, slides and um, images that you would use in art history, for example, that you think last forever, pyramids last forever, but they don't. And so it starts out that things are organized and in this rigorous scientific pattern, but yet things fall down, they decay, they disappear. And so um, these are kind of the themes that I wanted to, to talk about uh, in this, um, is just history, how things are in history in our lives, um, but also how we're a part of it now too with um, different ways that we probably all have cables somewhere in our house that don't fit anymore. And so these are made with um, cameraless, so there's no camera involved with these. These are just laid directly on photographic materials using the sun, and so they're one of a kind. And so that's kind of nice as um, um, photography, um, thinking about digital things, but using analog materials and processes in one of a kind, chance, opportunity. And so you might recognize some old cables and things in here. Um, but set against a, um, a grid. Um, this one is called flotsam, which is kind of the refuse that floats in the ocean, and so we all know about kind of this great garbage patch in the, uh, in the, um, the ocean in the Pacific, and so some of these things are floating or falling in some ways, and so, um, yeah, I think the scientific versus the human are some things that I do as well, that fragility of, of life. Um, that is very much against that perfect, seamless thing that the iPhone kind of uh, promises. And I promise you it's not like that at all. <laughs> and it's okay to be human. It's okay to, to live and change, um, that the organic still has a place in our lives. So I'd love to talk um, more with everybody about this. And thanks again for, for Leah for inviting me. Thank you.